All right, what's up with you too, fam? I'm back again with another video. So look, man, one of my supporters hit me with this video, right? And the only thing that she said was, look at how they did this girl's Airbnb. Now, from the title of it, it just sounds so lame and weird how people out here acting and treating people and doing things when they're trying to excel in life. People be genuinely hating on anybody who's doing something that's better than what they're doing and that's sad and that's lame. Especially when you need something from someone else because you needed somewhere to stay for this night. Why would you do somebody like this? This is from what I'm getting from the title so far. Now, I don't know exactly what the hell going on with this situation, but y'all already know this. We're here for anyways to check it out and see what's going on. So, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all what I feel about this during the video and after the video. If you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time during this video that's on my channel, just get up out here go find it somewhere so if you can find it. If you can't find it, it's on you. I really don't give a damn about you. know so it is what it is. But to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters, y'all already know I'm not talking to y'all when I say that. All I want y'all to do is hit that like button for me and tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. And make sure y'all hitting that like button, man. I'm dropping consistent content, and that's all I ask y'all to do. Just hit the like button for me and tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section and my second and third youtube channel facebook snapchat instagram everything gonna be in the comment section if y'all want to add those if y'all don't want to add none of that i ain't doing no tripping on none of that but let's get into it and see what's going on with this airbnb hey guys so we had a guest trash our unit and i came to check up on the unit after they checked out and my first clue was to finding this safe outside and it was like all banged up and stuff and i was like what the hell and my first clue was finding this safe outside and it was like all banged up then as i'm walking in um, I knew something was fishy, so I started recording, and then one of our side tables was broken right there. Okay, then coming up, we have this beautiful graffiti on the wall, stuff all over the floor, um, the furniture. Oh, was like, man, that's trash, bro. It was like, I don't know, it looked like a tornado went in there. The kitchen was like a disaster, guys. They took detergent and just like spilled it all over the floor, like laundry detergent. Wow. And they ordered like peaks and food and just like threw it everywhere. Like they had a party, they had a ball. Then upstairs, um, the rooms weren't as bad, but they were still pretty bad. They managed to get into our closet, and they, like, took everything out of it, just, like, threw it everywhere. Um, they also locked the bathroom door and left the water running. And you guys are going to see how the bathroom looked, but it was crazy. Um, so, yeah, then we cleaned up a little bit. I got some food, pizza. I was fueling up, you know um yeah we did Damn, pretty tripping, good man. i'm gonna post how it looked afterwards so you guys can see like the before and after but yeah this was the bathroom the bathroom they took a uh, pancake flour mix whatever and butter and like shook it and like sprayed it everywhere or whatever <laughs> <laughs> the progress video mm -hmm. man they got a good attitude about it this what's up Stay strong, fuck them. Y'all have been dying for the update of our unit, so here it is. It, right. it took us like a day, two days max to clean it and get it back to normal. But this is how it looks now. Come, come. This what's up? This is the kitchen. We just got these brushes. Actually, they're super cute. Yes. So you know, our original kitchen though. Even though they damaged our other chairs that we had, I feel like they did some damage, but we came back up. Even better, stronger. Huh? Straight up. Now. Like, look at this cute bar stool. Do you yeah. think this is adorable? The kitchen is back. The kitchen is back like it's never left. Yeah, straight up. This is our pastel selfie house. Find us on Instagram, guys. This was a wedding, you know, and a baby shower, and everything else located in Philadelphia, you know, cities. So y'all can do everything. Y'all tap in if y'all in Philly. At the Wolfie Girls, link is in the road to book. If you want to come to our networking event, it's going to be this Friday. This Friday, guys, don't miss it. Be there or be square. Okay, we're going to show y'all the rest. Okay, guys, so this is the pink room. This is the pink room. This is the pink room, guys. It's not all back to normal. There's a little hole here. Right now. Pizza. What are y'all gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bathroom. It's a normal, beautiful. Swing in every room because we're just that cool and fun and spicy. Yeah. So if you guys want to book our <laughs> unit and have fun on all three swing swings that we have in every single room, book us. Or there's one in the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. I was close. Yeah. It's like a walkthrough. Come on. I thought y'all were doing the walk. They in good spirits. I love that, man. For real. People always try to tell you down. They be mad when they can't do it. Okay, 
Okay, so for all the comments saying that we staged this on purpose to what go viral fuck? or we did this to ourselves, I have something to show you guys. This is gonna require a whole nother thing. Ooh, yeah, I can't oh hell no! Nah. I'm gonna Ooh, cover it because it's bad, y'all. I can't post but this yeah, shit. If you honestly think that we did that on purpose to the toilet, I'm gonna need you guys to like reevaluate. And people be so lame and hateful. Like, why would you even post it in somebody's section when they're already going through enough? You know what I'm saying? People just uh, they low lives don't have nothing going for themselves and just want to pick all day. That shit lame and weird as hell, man. Shout out to y'all for being stand up and just taking it to the chin and keep on pushing. You know you're a business owner and you already know how this shit go and y'all handling it the right way. And that's what's up. I commend that real talk. But people they just be on some low life energy type shit. You got to keep on going past it. But I love your energy and y'all's energy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all handling it. You know what I'm saying? Way better than most people would. You know that's just my opinion on that. Now I don't know exactly what they did after this, but you know. For them to actually take the time out and do it and get it right back to how it needs to be immediately, that's what's up. They didn't need no extra men coming over there doing none of that. They just, you know, self-reliant, and that's what's up. Let's get back into it, though. I just had to say that because they low-life-ass nigga. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm going off to go off on them. They low-life just in the comment section doing too much. Let's get back into it. Sorry, but no amount of views is worth me doing that to a toilet. Nah, real talk. Hey, we also had to repaint the, 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 the walls. And how are you feeling? So no, we did not do it on purpose for views, y'all. We do not know who did it, and we're not going to be suing them or going after them because Airbnb is going to be paying us for the cleaners that we had to hire, the furniture that we had to replace, the TVs we had to replace. So that is enough for us. And it's also a headache suing somebody. I don't know if you guys hey, have ever yeah. sued someone, Take but time. it's not an easy process. I posted the video because we like to show the good and bad of being an entrepreneur, Airbnb host, and we like to be realistic with our followers. So, no, I'm not going to let this one bad incident stop me from doing Airbnb because it was an easy fix. And when you look at successful people, it's like they failed before, too, in the past. And it's like you just have to pick yourself back up from the ground and keep it pushing. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep moving forward. Straight I am up. on here to motivate you guys, you know, encourage other people to have multiple streams of income, to be financially literate, and to leave those bad spending habits in the past. So also, I'm trying to change the smoke alarm, guys, but I don't know what is wrong with it. I just put a new battery in this part right here. I just put this new battery in, but the alarm is still beeping. So if y'all have any suggestions, please let me know. Yeah. See? So that's why the smoke alarm has been beeping in the background because we can't figure out how to fix it. So please leave us suggestions. <laughs> oh man, that's the end of that video. That's what's up, man. I'm glad y'all handled it the way y'all did, man. That's what's up. I commend y'all on it. And y'all didn't fail. I wouldn't necessarily say, you know, y'all fail. I understand what you were saying, though, about people failing and things like that. Y'all just had a minor setback. There was, you know, really a major comeback in another way because y'all can get a lot more clients i'm sure a lot of people gonna want to come over there and stuff like that and airbnb paying y'all back so y'all really win and it's just a sad situation all the way around she said they had cleaners and things like that i thought it was just them doing it on their own but anyway go they still did something you know they was in there doing their work i seen them working as well so you know just the whole situation is just sad that people out here doing shit like this to people who just trying to do something in life you know they don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you excel. And they do things like that thinking that they're going to hurt you. But in all actuality, shit, they bettering you. They building more character, you know, making you more self-reliant and making you, you know, more aware of certain things and shit like that. But just having a good spirit about all of this, no matter what, that's what's up. I commend that because a lot of people get discouraged when they go through certain situations and shit like that. And I'm glad that y'all didn't. But that's all I got to say about the whole situation, man. Y'all go holler at them. Y'all go follow them. Do whatever y'all going to do. That's all I got to say about the whole situation. If y'all run across this video, man, shout out to y'all. And I love that y'all had a good attitude about it. Matter of fact, let me go to that TikTok real quick. Because I'm going to see if there's an update on this situation right here. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, man, I went to the TikTok and ain't no more updates about this situation, but they got plenty of more content on there. Y'all can go check out if y'all want to. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about the whole situation, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you like my commentary. If you don't like my commentary, I really don't give a damn. I'll holler at y'all later on another video. If you made it to the end of this video, I really do appreciate you. All right. Hey, guys, so we had a guest trash our unit, and I came to check up on the unit after they checked out, and my first clue was finding the safe outside, and it was, like, all banged up. Then, as I'm walking in... Um, I knew something was fishy, so I started recording, and then one of our side tables was broken right there. 
okay then coming up we have this beautiful graffiti on the wall stuff all over the floor um the furniture was like it was like i don't know it looked like a tornado went in there the kitchen was like a disaster guys they took detergent and just like spilled it all over the floor like laundry detergent and they ordered like pizza and food and just like threw it everywhere like they had a party they had a ball then upstairs um the rooms weren't as bad but they were still pretty bad they managed to get into our closet and they like took everything out of it just like threw it everywhere um they also locked the bathroom door and left the water running and you guys are gonna see how the bathroom looked but it was crazy um so yeah then we cleaned up a little bit i got some food pizza i was fueling up you know um yeah we did pretty good i'm gonna post how it looked afterwards so you guys can see like the before and after but yeah this was the bathroom the bathroom they took a uh, pancake flour mix whatever and butter and like shook it and like sprayed it everywhere or whatever <laughs> the progress video mm -hmm. why is it wet in here i hate it y'all have been dying for the update of our unit so yeah. here it is so all right it took us like a day two days max to clean it and get it back to normal but this is how it looks now. Come, come. This is the kitchen. We just got these brushes. Actually, they're super cute. Yes. So you know, our original kitchen, though. Even though they damaged our other chairs that we had, I feel like they did some damage, but we came back up even stronger. better, stronger. stronger. And our unit looks cuter now. Like, look at these cute brushes. Do you not think this is adorable? So the kitchen is back. The kitchen is clean. back like it's never left. Okay. This is our pastel selfie house. Find us on Instagram, guys. This is the pastel selfie house. You can look in a book if you're interested. We are in Philly. For a sleepover, movie night, girls' night, event, bachelor party, maternity party, wedding, and you all know, any baby shower, anything else. It's located in Philadelphia, in New York City, yes. so y'all can do everything. Yes. Follow on Instagram at the Wealthy Girls. Link is in our bio to book. If you yes. want to come to our networking event, it's going to be this Friday. This Friday, guys. Do miss it. Be there or be square. Okay. We're going to show you all the rest. Okay, this is the pink room. Look at the pink room, guys. She's not all back to normal. She, there's a little hole here we have to fix. For right now. Back. Pizza. What are y'all going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bathroom. Back to normal in every room because we're just that cool and fun and spicy so if you guys want to book our unit and have fun on all three sing swings that we have in every single room book us or there's one in the balcony <laughs> that's bad all those close yeah it's like a walkthrough come on i thought y'all were doing the walk so for all the comments saying that we staged this on purpose to go viral or we did this to ourselves i have something to show you guys this is gonna require a whole nother thing yeah that's like i'm gonna cover it because it was bad y'all but yeah if you honestly think that we did that on purpose to the toilet i'm gonna need you guys to like reevaluate sorry but no amount of views is worth me doing that to a toilet Painted we also had to repaint the walls. Over there. And how are you feeling? I'm sad it wasn't the right color. So no, we did not do it on purpose for views, y'all. We do not know who did it, and we're not going to be suing them or going after them because Airbnb is going to be paying us for the cleaners that we had to hire, the furniture that we had to replace, the TVs we had to replace. So that is enough for us. And it's also a headache suing somebody. I don't know if you guys have ever sued someone, but it's not an easy process. I posted the video because we like to show the good and bad of being an entrepreneur, Airbnb host, and we like to be realistic with our followers. So no, I'm not gonna let this one bad incident stop me from doing Airbnb because it was an easy fix. And when you look at successful people, it's like they failed before too in the past. And it's like you just have to pick yourself back up from the ground and keep it pushing. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep moving forward. 
I am on here to motivate you guys, you know, encourage other people to have multiple streams of income, to be financially literate, and to leave those bad spending habits in the past. So I'm trying to change the smoke alarm, guys, but I don't know what is wrong with it. I just put a new battery in this part right here. I just put this new battery in, but the alarm is still beeping. So if y'all have any suggestions, please let me know. They're See? So that's why the smoke alarm has been beeping in the background because we can't figure out how to fix it. So please leave us suggestions.